Hey YouTube modeling community, this is Dave Heights here down at the Rats Nest. Hey, I'm just doing a uh, follow-up video from the show in Lafayette we attended yesterday. Um, brought home a little bit of hardware, wanted to share it with everybody. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of a lot of great builds there yesterday, and was pretty happy with the outcome. Um, I brought home a, a couple of first place plaques and a. Uh, a special award uh, first off brought home a first place with my 1929 rat rod the uh, pink rattlelac it's 29 resin body by uh, Jimmy Flintstone um, I've got some various Cadillac parts and pieces here and there on it got the uh, front grills off of 33 um, the interior the dashboard is uh, cut down and narrowed to fit from the uh, 59 Cadillac convertible kit that uh, Monogram put out. Also utilized the uh, tail lights from that kit. Put them on there. Uh, the tailgate, that's out of the uh, 33 kit. The uh, little scrolls there on the side, those are also out of the 33. Yeah, I built that one for a contest last year down in Columbus, Indiana. The uh, theme was pink cars so I thought what the heck let's build a pink rat rod and throw some Cadillac parts on it and call her the pink rattlelac but uh, yes she brought me home the first place in rat rod yesterday I was pretty pleased with that and then uh, second brought home a first place with my 1968 Dodge Charger barn find I built uh, oh two or three years ago oh, it's probably been three years now Built that for a Facebook build off. Uh, it was a box stock build. Couldn't do a lot of detailing work on it back then, but after the, after the contest on Facebook, I started putting a little detail here and there on it, make it make it look a little more realistic. Um, added a few things here, a lot of rust and dents, and some holes in her here and there. Opened up the trunk. Uh, used one of the uh, spare tires in the kit weathered it up so it looked like an old uh, rusted out old keystone mag just laying there in the trunk uh, I actually cut the door off of it I never never got around to hinging it yet but at some point in time probably will um, no back seat in it also cut the uh, I cut the seat so you can actually fold it forwards and back um, actually I don't know if you can see it real well or not I cut the uh, sun visor that came with it I cut it off hung it down and to the best of my ability at the time I painted what used to hold the registration in your uh, on your um, car used to hold it up there on your uh, on your visor I kind of painted one to simulate one of those on there just a little different but uh, after the contest was over on Facebook then I did start adding a little bit of detail to it I, like I say I still got some stuff I'd like to do to it just never got around to it uh, one thing I did add to it on the uh, on the mirror and this was back from my days uh, as a teenager getting them first few old Mopars I had uh, they had the adjustable cables where you could adjust the mirror on the inside of the door and a lot of times them mirrors get knocked off a little cable <laughs> would usually just hold it on so yeah there's a cable holding that one on there just like on one of the couple of the old real ones I had back in the day so yeah that was just a little detail I did to it it's uh, it's weathered up pretty good I kind of kind of built this one to uh, kind of look like something you would have seen on or you'd see on that TV show uh, graveyard cars got a jacked up front fender on it there where somebody uh, got a little wild in it and might have hit a fence post or telephone pole or something but uh, yeah that one there uh, there wasn't really a category to put it in yesterday so I ended up uh, putting it in the uh, miscellaneous category and it uh, brought me home first place and I was pretty happy with that well one that was kind of a shocker to me um, there was a gentleman there from a, uh, another model car club up here in Indianapolis, the uh, HMCA Club, Hoosier Model Car Association. Uh, name's John. I can't 
think of his last name. Great guy. Met, I've met him at a few other shows. Uh, he brought an award with him and presented at Lafayette's show yesterday. And it was a uh, it was an award. John had a plaque made for the um, best Ford Model A Coupe 1930. Well, evidently there wasn't any 1930 coupes even out on the table anywhere other than the one that uh, John himself had brought. So, as uh, the next best thing, he started judging 29s and 31s and. Mine being a 29, he said this was the closest thing that he saw that uh, caught his eye. So the old pink Radillac brought home two pieces of hardware yesterday. It brought home John's uh, John's pick for Ford Model A Coupe. I thought that was pretty cool. That was uh, that was something I had had no uh, idea was even being offered, but uh, I was grateful to uh, to accept it. I was just appreciative that he uh, he liked mine enough to uh, award it. So that's how it did on the hardware yesterday, man. I was uh, I was really uh, really happy with the outcome on that. So, but uh, also not only was it a uh, model car contest, had your had your swap meet as well. And uh, boy, I came I came home I made out like a bandit with some stuff yesterday. I can't I can't complain and spent uh honestly spent very little money not as much as i usually do when i go to them but uh, a few things i picked up um now this here was a five dollar kit and the only reason it was five dollar kits because it's not a full kit it's just body and some parts and pieces no chassis no glass no interior but hey it's a parts kit five dollars i'm not going to turn it down the box is worth five dollars to me Another kit I picked up, I just picked this up just because uh, I've had two or three of them in the past, built them, and uh, actually took one and cut the doghouse off of it for another project, but uh, picked up another one of the old 65 Chevelle Z16s, picked one of them up, uh, picked me up another one of the um, Challenger funny cars from uh, AMT and uh, Model King. I like this one. It's got some really cool decals in it. You can do a lot of things with them. Um, primarily, uh, I'm probably going to end up using the chassis for another uh, funny car anyway, so I'll probably have a body floating around. If anybody needs one, hit me up and let me know. One that I picked up that uh, was a pretty good find, good buy. Uh, 1961 series from AMT. Uh, 1961, 1961 Ford, and I've picked up a couple of these here in the last year that were just obliviated with glue. Uh, back in the day, everybody used to like to put all the custom parts and everything on them. This one here was one of the first ones I'd seen in a while that wasn't all uh, glue bombed. It's got a really decent unpainted body. The only part on it I've seen is painted is the uh, seats and the uh, door panels. So, uh, pretty happy with that. It's got real good chrome on it. So, that'll definitely be a uh, project down here at the Rat's Nest that uh, I'm looking forward to. Now I'm just in search of a 62, and I'll have I'll have the uh, I'll have the whole lot of them. Uh, oh, actually, uh, actually won a door prize yesterday. The old Dan Fink speed wagon. Uh, don't know for sure what I'll do with it, but I'm sure I'll find something to do with it at some point in time. Uh, picked me up another one of the, uh, nostalgic drag race sets with the Bronco and the, uh, Cougar kit. I've got one that's sealed and I'd been anticipating the time I was going to open it up and start building it, but, uh, that one can set for a while because this one here is already open. Everything's still sealed inside and... Yeah, that'll be another project coming up one of these days. Uh, let's see, another. Uh, oh, I picked up a uh, picked up a few little odds and ends here. Picked up some of the flocking, some of the old Ken's Ken's uh, custom fur. Got some different colors of that. Some co couple colors I didn't have. Uh, picked up a uh, 
picked up a photo etch packet for uh, 68 through 70 AMX. Got it at a pretty good price. Figured I'd grab that. Um, yeah, like I said, man, the vendors up there yesterday, just there was all kinds of good stuff. Now, the one that really got me, though, I was uh, when I first got there, I, I took some things to sell, so I, I got there early. Got my table set up. A buddy of mine, Dave Damro, he was set up right next to me, and uh, he watched my table for a few minutes while I took a walk around to see what was available. And uh, turned the corner, and I looked in a box the guy had below the table, and uh, this kit here, or at least the box, was in there. And I had, I was curious. I walked over to the table. I said, just for giggles, uh, how much are you asking for kits down there in the bottom? What's the different price range? He said, every kit down there underneath that table is a five dollar kit well i thought five bucks the box isn't all that great but uh it's one i don't have so i went ahead and bought it and when i opened it up if i can get it open when i opened it up lo and behold there was the body for the 68 coronet and some spur pieces Pretty decent body too. I was I was happy with that. Got the glass, the hood. Now the uh, chassis and the interior. That's a different story. Uh, looked like somebody was trying to customize something, and uh, it's not even the right interior that's in the box. But it does have the. Uh, I don't know if you can see it down there. It's got the clear hood scoop. It's there, there, down there. Yeah, right there in the middle. Got the clear hood scoop with it. So, you know, for five dollar bill, I I fared pretty good on that one. Uh, I was really happy with that. Uh, like I said, he had a whole bunch of uh, kits down underneath the table for five bucks. And I got to looking around and uh, I found another one that I'd been looking for. A, I've got a sealed one of these as well. And uh, I didn't want to open it up yet because the only thing I really, uh, really wanted out of this kit was the uh, rear wheels. They had the uh, those slotted mags. I, like, I always liked them. And them, I don't think them really came out in a lot of kits back in the day, but... Uh, I asked him, I said, is this, is this in a $5 kit too? And he's like, yeah. So I grabbed it with the anticipation that, hey, parts are going to be in it, right? Well, lo and behold, give me just a second here. Let me uh, get it to where I can get my old hands working here. Um, I opened it up, and to my surprise, there was actually a built Cuda with the wheels I was wanting. But, not only was there a built Cuda in the box, this is the one that uh, took my breath away. Now, for the ones of you that know what it is, you're going you're gonna to be jealous. And I'm sorry, I apologize now. But this one here, this was one of my Holy Grail kits. And now, it's kind of, uh, let me say, it's kind of uh, fulfilled, but not 100% yet. The old Fever B funny car I could not believe this man I was just are you kidding me I just paid five dollars for this model box just to try to get a set of wheels and ended up hitting a gold mine this car I've went through it from top to bottom it does have all the parts I went through and grabbed all the parts out of the bottom of the box got them in a ziplock baggie now this is going to be another uh, restoration project but I was like, you're kidding me. A fever bee. How lucky can a guy get, man? I was just taken back by that. So, yeah, that's going to be a restoration project here in the near future. Uh, matter of fact, I got on uh, eBay today and found a set of decals for it. So I was pretty stoked about that. Picked up a few other odd and end kits here and there. Um, well, trying to think what other else I got. Oh, I did pick up some, uh, got a heck of a deal on these yesterday, man. Uh, they were there, they were selling these things like hotcakes, man. And I love hotcakes, so I just bought everything they had. A whole bunch of old slicks, NASCAR decals. This whole stack right here. This whole stack. I even think there's some, uh, old Fred Katie's in there as well. Some, uh, regular regular kit pieces bought that whole stack for three dollars and fifty cents 
Uh, couldn't go wrong on that. Uh, like I said, there's a there's a whole bunch of the uh, man. There's a whole bunch of the uh, slicks decals in there. That I haven't seen for a while. There's a couple sets of the uh, Daryl Waltrips in there. The uh, Pepsi Challenger. I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely. I like the old NASCAR kits. I built quite a few of them back in the day. Um, I've still got quite a few un, unbuilt ones right now. So looks like I'm gonna have some NASCAR projects coming up here shortly too, as well. And like I said, there's some other decals in there. I said the old Camaro Junction from the shoebox kit. I thought that's pretty cool. So yeah, I uh, I fared pretty good yesterday, man. I was a I was a happy camper. Um, picked up a couple pieces of resin as well. Finally got me a uh, 67 Mustang coupe body. Picked that up from uh, Motor City Resin Casters yesterday. And uh, on my way out the door, a fellow had a few boxes of stuff still sitting there. I grabbed this on a whim. It is a 1940 Willys panel drag truck. I thought this is pretty cool. That's going to be a it's going to be a fun project to get rolling. I don't know if it's going to be a drag car though. Um, I'm more partial to uh, saying it's going to be a rat rod in some way, shape, or form. So uh, keep your eyes posted for that. Uh, you never know what I'll build. Uh, I do a little bit of everything. So, but anyway, uh, that was the uh, outcome from yesterday's show, man. Um, and guys, hey man, I'm sorry about all the shaky camera. I'm I'm just I'm about half asleep as it is now, and I was up for uh, pushing 35 hours yesterday. I worked nights. I got home from work, stayed up, went to the show, left here about seven o'clock yesterday morning. It's only about a half hour drive for me. Got set up. I uh, actually had one of my buddies ride back home with me, and um, our other club members, they. Uh, they followed us, picked him up. He just wanted to make sure I was uh, okay to drive home. Appreciate that there, Chris Beach. Uh, looking out for me. Really appreciate it. So, fellas, that's uh, that's what we did yesterday. Uh, just tickled to death, man. I come home with uh, three pieces of hardware, man. I'm uh, really looking forward to the next show coming up. We got that coming up here. I uh, can't remember the exact date, but it's down here in Columbus, Indiana. Really uh, looking forward to that one. And uh, I'll be doing a, another video here shortly on the update on my uh, monster truck tractor pull build. Um, I was going to try to do some work on it today, but uh, I had intentions of just trying to sleep as much as I could today, make up for them 35 hours I was up. So Got a little rest, got up, feeling a little better today. Thought I'd get a video out there. I did post another video earlier on the uh, contest entries. I hope everybody checked that out. Um, had a little issue with it. They were, uh, uh, YouTube was kind of giving me some crap about some uh, music I was using in it. So I had to pull it down and uh, try to put some other music in it. So I didn't have to go to court over something here in the future. But anyway, that's what we did. Um, just wanted to share that with everybody. I was just, like I said, just tickled to death. Come home, three pieces of hardware and all that stuff I brought home from the show yesterday. It just made my day. So, all right, man. That's uh, that's about it. Uh, this is Dave down here at the Rat's Nest. Hope everybody has a good week. Like I say, I'll be doing an update video here shortly on the. Uh, on the uh, mud bog build I'm doing for the monster truck tractor pull build. So uh, until then, y'all take care. And Dave down here at the Rat's Nest, hey, we'll talk at you later.